Tyler, there's been no shortage of great running backs coming out of San Diego. I have to ask you now, growing up in San Diego, who was, who was your favorite guy to watch? Growing up in San Diego, my favorite guy to watch was Reggie Bush. Uh, being able to see him go through Helix to USC uh, to a successful NFL career has been nothing, nothing but spectacular. You've had a very good career of your own now. You were drafted by the Pirates a couple years ago. Why the decision to go ahead and leave baseball and return to football? Uh, I love football. It's hard to, hard to turn that sport down. This is, this is a sport that uh, not, not many get to play, and I want to take full advantage of it. No questions at all. I mean, did, have, I'm not sure if, if you've gotten to the interview process yet, but have, have executives asked you if you are absolutely sure that football is going to be your path? Oh, yeah. This, is, this football is definitely my path. I'm, I'm excited for it. I love it. The, the second I stepped away, I wanted to come back, but I had to honor my decision, and you know, I'm back to, to prove people that I can play. Now, speaking of proving, what do you want to go ahead and prove to people, whether it's the interview process or whether it's showing off your skills during the combine? Uh, you know, in terms of the interview, I, I feel fairly comfortable being a, a people person. But in in the combine, I'm I'm trying to run fast. I think everyone here is trying to run fast, but I think uh, maybe I have a little more to, to prove there. No shortage of great no shortage of great players coming from Stanford who are in the NFL right now. What's the biggest piece of advice that you've gotten, and who are some of the guys that you consult with? Um, you know, I've I consulted with a lot of the prior um, Stanford football players. They come back to train every year. Uh, we talk to them about what you know what's going to go on, what's it, and they prepared me perfectly for what's going to happen at the combine. Uh, it's a real hurry up and wait kind of process, and I would be patient. Whether it's Richard Sherman or Andrew Luck, do you think the stereotype of Stanford athletes has changed now? Um, I think the stereotype is you know they they can play football. I guess nerds can play football. So we're uh, <laughs> we're out here trying to trying to you know make a name for ourselves. Okay, last thing, where are you going to be training? What, what are you going to be doing in the offseason to, to get ready for the draft? Uh, I'm up in San Ramon, right right by Stanford, still finishing up school.